Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be answering a couple questions uh, related to popping out instruments as well as dealing with multiple monitor setups. Alright, so first things first, um, if you're inside of any aircraft that has any sort of instrument, believe it or not, just like in the old days of Flight Simulator, you can actually pop these instruments out so that you can actually take a look at them. Or if you have multiple monitors, which many of us do have, you can actually take those instruments and drag them to the other window. So to do this, what you're going to do is on your keyboard, you're going to hold down the right alt key. Now, if you hold down the left alt key, it's not going to work. If you hold down the right alt key, you'll notice that when I hold my mouse over certain things on the display, they become a little plus sign. Now, by default, these are almost universally going to be some kind of, you know, EFS or they're going to be an MFD or PFD. These little instruments down here are not going to work in that fashion, which is actually kind of sad because a lot of times these are the kind of instruments you want to pop out for external screens. After you hold down that right alt key, simply take your mouse, come over here and left click on it. And now that you've done that, you have a pop out version of that instrument now completely ready to go. I'm just going to confirm that you can see that. Ah, you can't see it. Let me do you a favor. There we go. So now you can actually see that this instrument is sitting here. Now it's, I can do stuff with it. I can come over here. I can expand the screen. I can also, I actually have a multi-monitor setup. I can actually drag this off the top of the screen. So now that you can't see it, but it's all the way at the top. As a matter of fact, I can do something like this if you want to see it. And it is now on my second monitor. Now, the cool thing is I can hold down Alt again. Remember, right Alt is the magic button you're looking for here. And click again. And now, if you take a look at the display, I have popped out two separate windows. Now, the reason that this is cool is if I click on that now, I can go ahead and expand it. I can shrink it. I can click on that one. I can go ahead and expand it. You've got yourself this handy-dandy button that allows you to pop that instrument from itself. So if you were working, for example, on, you know, doing like some kind of fancy monitor setup, maybe I've got a little eight inch square, I can now drag the top of this and literally pull it onto that little monitor and leave it there. Same thing with this one up here. So again, now that I've got that little pop out, I can do crazy things. Now, if I want to get rid of this thing, I can just click on a little X and get rid of it. So again, I'm going to hold my right alt. I'm going to left click on the thing I'm interested in. It's going to give me a pop up. If I hold down right alt on the other one, it's going to give me this dual pop up. If I want to split them, you simply click on the little magnifying glass icon. So now I'll show you another really cool trick. If I press the end key to go outside of the aircraft, you'll notice these instruments are still completely visual. So for those of you who are the folks who like to fly, you know, aircraft, you know, kind of from the outside view, so to speak, you can now monitor the performance of the aircraft by remote. Of course, at any time, rip, you can go ahead and pop that on that other screen as well. Now, the next thing we're going to take a look at is how to deal with my using multiple monitors and kind of the lazy way, as I like to kind of call it, as far as uh, making sure that you have the ability to use both of those. Now, my monitors are stacked. They're not left to right. So this is going to look really, really derpy. So basically, the trick to that is you simply tap the escape key, go over to general, make your way all the way down to your graphics, and there's an option for full screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and set it to windowed. Of course, when you press this, expect uh, Microsoft to have a half of a heart attack here as it tries to process all this stuff. So now that we are inside of a window, we can now have a little bit of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab on the top edge of this window, and I'm going to drag upwards. <laughs> I told you that was going to look stupid. But what I've actually achieved here is I've gone ahead and uh, made my aircraft so that, oh man, this is going to look pretty funky to you, I'm sure. But I'm actually sitting in my aircraft, and um, I have a completely vertical view now. Like, uh, very difficult to see, like I said. But, like, when I'm looking out the window, my top half of my screen, which you can't see up here, is actually the top half of the aircraft. Down here is now the bottom half of the aircraft. Of course, if we want to correct that, we can just do something like that and re-snap it back into our original view. So hopefully this video is helpful as far as i kind of shown off some of that stuff. I can see I've uh, done a pretty good job of uh, bending and breaking everything here. So I'm going to put it back before my video ends in case anybody's confused. Again, you just go back at the full screen, press OK, and whoosh, I'm back in uh, fuel screen mode, apply and save, and now I'm awesome. So again, uh, when you do this, the key you're going to want to watch out for is going to be your, alt, your right Alt key. You go ahead and left click. I've showed you kind of how it works. By the way, if for some reason that doesn't work for you, uh, something you probably want to check out is if you go into your controls, go to your keyboard profile, you see where it says search by input. If I hit right Alt, you'll notice there's this thing that says new UI window mode. So if you want to go ahead and bind it to something else, you just simply type in new UI. Whoop. First of all, make sure you set to all. I'm going to type in UI, and you can see right here, you can go ahead and define any button on your keyboard or your mouse for that purpose. Other than that, enjoy.